Seth, hey. Hey, you must be that guy who's gonna ask me 73 questions in an absurdly crafted interview. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so, what's your favorite board game? Uh, Scrabble. If you could play Scrabble with anyone currently living, who would it be? My parents. What about not living? Benjamin Franklin. What's your favorite comic of all time? Grant Morrison's Animal Man. Who's your favorite comic book artist? Kevin McGuire. If you could have one superpower, what would it be? I guess I'd like to be able to fly. What's the coolest thing in this room? That photo of Martha Stewart. How did you get your hands on that photo of Martha Stewart? I simply asked Martha Stewart for it. Hey, Seth, how many jokes are in the monologue on average every night? I'd say around 10. OK, they need you on stage. You want to come out on stage with me? Yeah, definitely. Great. If you were a hip hop artist, what would your stage name be? MC Suburbs. If you had a boat, what would you name it? Death Trap. If you could work the runway to any song, what would it be? Uh, uh, David Bowie's Boys Keep Swinging. Huh. These are cool photos. Who are these people? Uh, this is the incredible staff of our show here. How many people work here? Almost 100 people. What's the coolest thing about New York City? That interesting people from other cities come here to live. Favorite place to hang out in New York City? Uh, that would probably be my local Irish bar. What is the first website you visit in the morning? Twitter. Favorite person on Twitter? Uh, that would be our head writer, Alex Bays. Actually, can we throw his Twitter handle right here on a Chiron? Yeah, I think we could totally take care of that. Great. Yeah, so where are we right now? This is backstage, the area right before I walk out for my monologue. Do you have any last minute rituals? Yeah, come on. Okay, cool. Every night, I look at that picture of my dog, and it makes me smile. Huh, what is this little guy's name? Her name is Frisbee. What would her name be if it weren't Frisbee? Noodles. That is so sweet Thanks. and adorable. Who would you want to write your obituary? A very old David Remnick. Hey, Fred. Hey, Seth, what's going on? Not much, how are you? I'm doing good. Um, what music would you like me to play for these questions? Something that a sensitive guy would play at a party to impress a girl. Okay, let's see. Yes, that's it. It's totally it. So, Seth. Mm-hmm. How did you feel on opening night? I was nervous. Mm-hmm. What's the most nervous you've ever felt? Probably right before the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Mm -hmm. Now, without context, what's the punchline to your favorite joke? Um, unless the blacks are family of white people, I bet he's mistaken. All right. Yeah. All right, what's your favorite SNL sketch that we wrote together? Oh, Ian Rubbish, History of Punk. What about you? Well, I'm not here to answer questions, Seth. But it's my favorite, too. All right, great. Seth, in three words, how would you describe your friendship with Fred Armisen? Hilarious, sustainable, and unpredictable. Do you want to come be a guest on my show for a yeah, second? Yeah, let's Great. do it. What's the hardest part about hosting a show? Having to sit in makeup every night. What's the easiest part? Getting to talk to interesting people like you. Ah, oh, yeah, that's nice. Ah, all right, so this is what the view is like. Yeah. What's your perfect guest lineup? Uh, my perfect guest lineup is Andy Samberg, a four-year-old magician, and music from The Hold Steady. What person, dead or alive, would you want to cover for you if you called in sick? Joan Rivers. So what's on your desk here? Um, these are some NFL football pencils, and this is a Stefan nesting doll. Where did you get those? Uh, pencils on eBay, the nesting doll was a gift. Can you answer a question from the studio audience? I'd love to. Great. Seth, I'm getting married in an hour. What advice do you have for a guy who's about to say, I do? Rehearse your vows two times more than you think you need to. Thank you. Good luck, man. Yeah. Do you use teleprompter or cue cards? Cue cards. Actually, that's my cue card guy, Wally. Excluding New York, favorite U.S. city? Chicago. Favorite European city? Amsterdam. What would your wife answer to those questions? Nashville and Paris. Excellent. Can I get a raise? No. What's the last thing you do before the show? I go to the green room and say hi to the guests. You want to come with me? Yes. All right. Cool. What was your favorite subject in school? Uh, English. Least favorite? Chemistry. Three desert island books. Oh, that's always a good one. Uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Code of the Woosters, and Catch-22. Who's your best friend? My best friend is my brother. What's your spirit animal? <laughs> I don't know, uh, an otter? What's your favorite all-time TV show? My favorite all-time TV show is The Wire. What's your favorite movie? I love the movie In Bruges. If you could make a cameo in any TV show, what would it be? Uh, why not Game of Thrones? Who would you play in it? Uh, Jamie Lannister's new hand. What do you miss most about Saturday Night Live? I guess I would say I miss the people. Hey, check this out. This is where the band rehearses. Oh, great. What was the hardest part of being head writer at SNL? Mm, the hours. Funniest SNL writer people don't know about? James Anderson. What's the most memorable thing Lorne Michaels ever told you? He told me you can never ask for credit. Cast member who made you laugh the hardest? Uh, uh, Horatio Sands. Sketch that made you laugh the hardest the first time you heard it? That would be the first time I heard What Up With That. What are you most excited about these days? Making the show better. Person you couldn't do the show without? My producer, Mike Shoemaker. What is this for? Vogue. What's Vogue? 
It's a fashion magazine. I'm sorry, it's a comedy writer. What advice would you give yourself at 13? Stick with the Red Sox, they won't let you down. What advice would you give yourself at 22? Don't get a day job. What advice would you give yourself at 34? Uh, you're about to meet an incredible woman, don't let her get away. Best encounter with someone who recognized you in public? Anytime I'm recognized by an old person, I'm really happy. What would you talk about when you reach their age? How being an old person gives you the perspective to finally enjoy life. What's your favorite holiday? Thanksgiving. Why? Because I have so much to be thankful for. When I did this with Anna Wintour, she said Americans lack humor. What do you think British people are lacking? Fashion sense. Did you just burn Anna Wintour? Yeah, I did. Are you regretting it? A little. Do you want us to edit it out? That'd be great, thank you. Seth, I gotta go, thanks so much. Yeah, it was fun, I appreciate yeah, it. You got it, have a good show tonight. For more 73 questions, subscribe to the Vogue channel.